Welcome back to Jero Dynamics. Okay, so I did want to, uh, I'm watching the uh, new series, The uh, Last of Us, um, and I did, uh, I just saw the first episode finally. They are pretty long, so I do have to set some time aside from, kind of like I'm watching a movie, <laughs> which I do enjoy. Um, I enjoy a series with long episodes like this, where basically it is like getting a chance to be able to see a bunch of movies like each week. Um, and, uh, and so I finally got to watch the first episode and I do want to re, uh, review these episodes as I watch it. Now, keep in mind, I am a, a viewer of this series who did not play the games. Um, I'm a fan of computer games and PlayStation games and that sort of thing, but, uh, but I've never played the Last of Us game series. It's not really in my wheelhouse of, of the style of game that, that it is. Um, so I don't have that perspective. I'm not uh, tainted by the fact that uh, that this is a, uh, a thing that I was already a fan of. Are they ruining it? Are they making it better? Are they, you know, it, how closely is it sticking? None of that is going to play into my reviews of this because uh, I just, I've never, uh, I've never played the game. So I'm just coming at this as someone who's watching the show. Okay, and so for the first episode, um, there were definitely a lot of positives. I, I definitely think this is a show that I do want to continue to watch. Um, it was very interesting, great premise. Um, and so at the very beginning, you know, we have this premise that's somewhat established, and, and I'll talk about that a little bit, uh, that, um, that fungus could evolve to be able to take over uh, uh, human beings and basically spread around the world and basically eliminate the human race, um, similar to how there's some fungus that can do that on smaller levels to insects, that sort of thing. Um, and I guess that's the basic premise of the, the story, is that's what ends up happening. Um, I wish they had gone into this a little bit more, in, you know, and maybe fans of the, uh, of the game know a little bit more ahead of time, so they didn't want to dwell on it too much. But in that uh, initial scene, there's a doctor, and he's a uh, um, well, scientist, right? Some sort of scientist, and he's uh, making the claim that there's nothing that can prevent this. There is um, no vaccine. There's no way to cure something like this, and there's no way to develop something that would cure something like this. I wish they had developed that more, like basically if he had explained that a little bit more, because I'm still to this point not sure why we wouldn't be able to um, develop something that we could use to um, to prevent this from happening. In fact, my understanding is that's the premise of the show, right? Um, where the uh, the little girl has the or didn't get converted, or so she has some way where she's immune to it. Um, but anyway, so I'm sure I'll learn more about that. But I wish he, they he had addressed said why he was saying that it was something that couldn't be uh, couldn't be stopped, couldn't be prevented, couldn't be cured, that sort of thing. Um, but it was just a little intro thing, and so so I kind of get that. Um, and you know, they didn't want to go into too much detail with it. Uh, it just kind of sort of establishes the world. Um, then they jump to the uh, initial uh, family situation of the of the main character. Uh, let's see here. Let me bring this stuff up so I get everybody's names right. Uh, main character is Joel Miller, and Joel Miller is being uh, played by the great Pedro Pascal. Uh, I've been a fan of Pedro's for a long time. He was obviously great in Game of Thrones. He's great in The Mandalorian. Great actor. Okay. Um, the character seems like a very interesting character. Um, Ex-military, it would seem. Um, him and his brother are close. Um, he has the, uh, he has, I believe, his daughter living with him. Um, they haven't mentioned the mother. I'm assuming maybe she's deceased or not in the picture. Maybe we'll learn more about that. Maybe we won't. Um, because, uh, so there, there will be a little bit of spoilers here, um, not for the whole episode, but there's, you know, a little bit of spoilers here at the beginning, so if, if you haven't watched it yet, keep that in mind, um, but the basic premise is they're showing the very beginning of the, uh, of the fungus taking over and the, the human, basically the zombie type, uh, virus starting to spread. And it spreads similarly to how you've seen other zombie viruses spread. It's just using the fungus as an explanation for why it's happening in this world, right? 
Um, so the fungus is a great explanation for <clears throat> for a zombie pandemic. I love that idea. Um, I think that's great, right? So that's that's really really kind of a cool, um, unique premise, and I like the explanation for it as opposed to you know like the military was experiment doing experiments and they got out. You know, um, <laughs> you know that seems too real world. This seems more like a little bit fantasy, but also plausible, right? It's more science fiction where it you know it's not in this world but it could be in this world at some point in time in the future that sort of thing anyways so it's showing the very early stages um of that and it shows his daughter and uh and she passes away okay so she she passes away in this first episode um you learn that very early on um it's what what creates who he is as a character and leads to his story arc where he um um is going to be this escort i would is is the word i would use i guess he he um not human trafficking because you know she kind of wants to go kind of kind of <laughs> so almost human trafficking anyways <laughs> um you know he's trying to get her from one place to another uh this other character who, who we'll get into a little bit more um so this kind of develops who he is he obviously he wants to be protective of this new little girl because he lost his daughter um his daughter's name was sarah miller played by nico parker uh, nico parker was amazing um and maybe we'll get some more flashbacks of her but more than likely it, this is all all we get for her um this is her character nico partner parker played the character perfectly we got like way more development than you usually get on a character like this um and i really appreciated that um the problem is and so we'll get to my first um negative about the series m almost completely positive but my first negative about the series bella ramsey Bella Ramsey is also from Game of Thrones. Um, she was a fun little character in Game of Thrones, the uh, tough little girl um, who's no one's going to tell her what to do type thing, right? And she played that character great, and it seems like she's playing that character great again. <laughs> that's that's what we've gotten in the first episode. Hopefully there's more character development. I'm assuming there is. She develops as a character. We get to see Bella Ramsey's um, um width of uh, her, the ability for her to act different uh, characters hopefully we'll be able to see her ability to to show us different uh, different range there we go um and her character's name is ellie williams she's the other main character of the show um we believe you know we don't know for sure but we believe she has some sort of uh, ability to prevent this virus um in her body she's maybe the cure um that's what they want to find out so they want to get her from point a to point b so that they can basically run tests and figure out you know why she wasn't affected by the uh the fungus turning her into a zombie um so yeah so uh here's the thing bella ramsey bella ramsey is fine in that character but when you compare nico parker in the first part first half of the episode the first section of the episode versus bella ramsey in the second um portion of the episode um nico is a better actress uh nico's character sarah miller was a better character <laughs> and she is gone and we are left with Be bella ramsey ellie williams um hopefully uh, you know, as, like I said, not as a fan of the the game series, so I don't know for sure, but I would imagine that uh, that we become closer to Bella Ramsey's character, Ellie Williams, and she becomes more a uh, well-rounded character, and and hopefully, you know, we can leave uh, how good Nico uh, was as Sarah Miller in in the first episode and move forward with uh, with uh, Ellie Williams, Bella Ramsey. All right. Another character uh, is Tommy Miller, which is uh, Joel's brother, uh, played by Gabriel Luna. Again, really good actor. The character seems like a very interesting character. However, we lose him. Now, I don't know that we lose him. I don't think he's dead. I think that's part of the, the concept is that Joel's character wants, or Joel, um, Pedro's character, wants to go find his brother, is willing to take um, Ellie Williams, Bella Ramsey's character, 
um, to where she needs to go so that he can have the ability to go look for his brother. So I think he's still alive. Don't know for sure. I think so. Um, there's another character, um, Teresa Tess Servo Servopoulos, I guess is how you pronounce her name, uh, <laughs> uh, played by Anna Torv. Um, she, uh, uh, she was a fine character, seemed like she's, they're starting to build her up. We're going to get more out of her. We're going to learn, um, who she is. The actress is performing it well. And so we will see if, uh, if that's a, uh, series long character, um, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe those who are familiar with the game are laughing right now. Maybe she doesn't last very long. I don't know, but she seems like an interesting character. Let's, let's see what they do with her um performed well by Anna Torf. And let's see who else do we have in this first episode? Um I th there was the leader of the resistance um and I'm not remembering her name and I'm not seeing her on this list of characters. Uh, that was a fine character, and the other Resistance members, uh, most of which died <laughs> in that first episode. There were two left at the end of the episode, as far as I could tell. <laughs> so not much of a Resistance. Uh, they seemed fine. Um, but the uh, the focus of the show is on Joel Miller, Ellie Williams, Tommy Miller, uh, we'll see, and Teresa Tess. Um, you know, I, I believe those are the characters we're looking to focus on moving forward. I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, can't wait to uh, watch that next episode. Um, probably won't be able to watch it tonight, uh, but as soon as I watch it, I'll do a review of that episode as well, and we'll see where we've gone from here. Um, hopefully you like the uh, show. Hopefully you like my review. And yeah, everybody, I will be talking to you more again later. Take care. Have a good day.